Okay, great morning. Getting to the reading of the morning, the wisdom of the cards. We'll see what kind of direction they're putting today. I've got most of them shuffled and out. Okay, let me see if I can make sense of it here. Okay, <clears throat> we'll start here. Progress, making progress. Oop. Advancement, gaining recognition, appreciation, achievements, acceleration, steady gains, increased clarity. Now this, in the one we have here, we have again clarity up here. So this is more about gaining clarity as you're progressing on your path. Okay. As you progress, hopefully you gain more clarity. So here we have clarity again. Seeing what's inside, breaking through. Now I like this, she's got the, got the geode there where they've broken inside and seen what's in there. Not just the surface level. Let me see if I can get that. Uh, but uh, there we go, you can see the crystals in there. Like the geode, you have to break through to get to the clarity to see what's inside. Okay. Along with that, we have the seer, seeing beyond the current situation. Again, takes coming to clarity. Coming to clarity. To looking deeper than surface level. You have to get to the depth of what's happening in order to see clearly. You can't take things always at face value. You have to dig deeper and find out what's beyond that current situation. Okay, when you do that, okay, Again, you take a breath. Part of the way to, to, to do that is to take a breath, stop, observe, question, okay? Question the validity of it. Where is it coming from? Is it true? Is it not true? Is it something that you've adopted as true, which is not true? You don't adopt something just because you have been told that, okay? So part of the path and the part of the path I teach is, again, observation, coming to clarity. You come to clarity when the mind starts to still and you go into what's termed witness state. You can see you have a buffer zone between what you're doing and you can actually see what's happening as it's happening in real time and you can start to question that to look at it more deeply okay that's called witness state now if you're caught up in the mind and you're just going and you you have to reflect on it later okay you're reflecting on it later it's not um that's not witness state. Witness state is being able, you have a buffer zone in place and you can start questioning your actions in real time. Okay. 
So in order to do that, you have to breathe. You have to step back. You have to <clears throat> give some space, okay, to get beyond the current situation, okay? When you do that, as you do that, you will find out you have more prosperity and more abundance, abundance and prosperity. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're suddenly going to become rich or wealthy. It's more of a wealth of understanding, wisdom, when it comes to your life cycle, things that are going on, okay? And the more that you are able to break through those dramas and traumas, the more prosperity and abundance you have within your own self-worth, etc., then you can claim your independence, okay? Then you know where you're at, how you're getting there, and what needs to be changed. And you become more independent within yourself. Now, I'll have to say in my own journey, like I said, I went through a lot of drama, a lot of trauma, okay? And had very severe PTSD, had um, very severe um, depressions, etc. I was getting a lot of piercings done, um, so I understand that thing of the cutting that people do. I wasn't doing cutting. I was doing piercings. But I, it finally dawned on me one day, and this is how this works. All of a sudden, I was sitting there looking at what was going on. And it hit me. Well, that's pretty stupid. I was having this pain, and I saw that the physical pain was easier to deal with than the mental pain and trauma. So when one would heal and I'd go back into that pain and trauma, I'd get another one. And the physical pain was enough to offset it for a time, not looking at it. In, in, in other way, this is another way of running away. This is another way of putting yourself in a different space so you don't confront. And that's why people don't want to sit. They don't want to be in quiet because all this stuff comes up and they're not masking it anymore. Well, you have to see it in order to change it. You can't continue to run away and mask it with other things. So I saw that, well, that's pretty stupid. That's not solving anything. Okay. <laughs> Duh, light bulb. <laughs> the light bulb goes off. And so the seeing of that, that I was running away and I was masking it with other pain, physical pain was easier to deal with than mental pain. You know, so when I saw that and was able to see clearly what I was doing, was able I stopped that immediately and then started going deeper and questioning it. Okay. And then the, the next level and layer of that was to see that the people that had perpetrated all these traumas and things on me, and I'm not talking about my marriages, this is nothing, no, I'm talking about going through rapes and going through molestations and rapes and, and um, other trauma. Um, I saw that the people that were perpetrating those things were living in a hell realm. They were... Um, they were um, in that mental thing that they were, I don't want to say pushed, but they, they were not able to get out of that action. They were continuing that. So that was a hell realm, you know, to, and, and when I saw that they were in a hell realm, I had a chance to get out of this. Because I looked and saw that who's doing this to me now? Yeah, these are events that happened in the past, but nobody's doing it to you now. So you have to come back and look and say, I'm doing this to myself. 
Okay, I keep re-victimizing myself. Why am I doing that? Okay. And when I saw that they were compelled, that's the word I'm looking, compelled to do what they were doing, they were in a hell realm. But I had a chance to get out of this because I was continuing to victimize myself. These events weren't going on again and again and again, even though I kept reliving it, reliving it as if it was. I said, well, that's pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm doing this to myself. So when I saw that they were compelled to do these things and they were stuck in that hell realm of action, then I started to develop that compassion for the fact they were in a hell realm. Okay. And the minute I started to develop compassion and saw that they were compelled to do what they were doing and they were in a hell realm that was going to continue, then that started unlocking that trauma and drama here. Okay. But none of this comes about unless you stop and you're willing to face those demons. You're willing to face those energies. You're willing to face the truth of those situations. If you just keep running and doing something else to mask it and you're not willing to look under that mask, then you'll be also compelled to do what you are doing and you will stay in a hell realm of your own design and making, okay? So you have to stop, take a breath, okay? And see beyond the current situation, the knee-jerk things that you get involved in so you can gain more clarity and you can progress and advance Okay, and get steady gains and increased clarity. And when you do that, then you claim your independence. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. That's a little bit more on sitting and observing and uh, breaking through to greater wisdom and understanding. You know, Ramana kept saying, you know, see, who am I? Who am I? But when you ask, who am I? You tend to put all these dramas on it. So on this path, instead of saying, who am I? I say, what is this I? What is this ego I comprised of? And then you start peeling away the layers, <clears throat> and eventually you get to that center point, that still open point of um, wisdom. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. Have a great day. See you online. Aho.